Hey guys, Tamp Tech, and I'm going to be working on an LCD TV that has no power. So I took out the power board right here, and we'll be testing parts on this power board. So the first thing I did is check the fuse right here. So there's no red standby light on the front of the TV. The fuse is good. Next thing I want to check is the bridge rectifier. So I put my black lead at the end of the leg. And I get point, anything between 0.4 to 0.7 is good. So I put my black lead at the last leg. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, and you switch. And OL, OL, and open line, or open loop, or over limit, whatever. There's different terms for that, but it all means the same thing. So that is most likely good. Uh, next thing I check is these right here. A lot of transistors, diodes, and uh, rectifier on heatsink. And the reason why it's on here is because it gets hot and they work hard. So it's a good idea to check them. See, that's 0.6, so that's good. So 0.3 is like borderline okay, but like, you know, you, like that's 0.3 is kind of low. So I would have to take that out of circuit and test it. I'm really looking for a short. And that's 0.5. So if it's near, um, let me see. And these diodes too, you check those diodes. So I'm really looking for a short. 0.3 is kind of low again, so I'll probably have to take out a circuit to test it, get a more accurate reading. But that's not considered a short. When I mean by short, I mean 0, 0, 0 straight across the board. That's a short. Point 0.1, that's not good. That's almost a short. Point 0.1, that's not good. And that's the short right there, that diode. Right there, so that's a short signal and that's short. So both, you read it both ways. So how a diode works is it allows voltage in one way and not the other. And you should get a, So I have to take out a circuit to get a more accurate reading. So we're back from the store. We got our diodes and we're going to be putting them in the circuit and soldering up and plug it in and see if it works. That's all. And when you put the diode in, by the way, the stripe is the negative. That's the cathode. This is the anode, the other side. So you just make sure you follow the image. There's stripe on the board. That's the stripe on the diode. They have to be matched. Just like that. It's pretty easy, actually. All right, just like that. And I replaced all of them, or sure, there's only two shorted ones, but I were gonna replace them all because they were reading kind of low, even when I took it out of circuit. So just in case, when in doubt, change it out. And this TV is, what TV is this called? Uh, 50 inch insignia. Yeah, so mm -hmm. a lot of times um, it would be like a common issue with different brands. They have, they're all common issues. So if you have a 50 inch insignia, this might be your issue. Alright, so now we're going to plug in the inverter board for the backlight. 
and we got the plug in for the main board. So let's turn it on and test it out. And let's go ahead and hit the power button right here. Oh, back the light is on. You can see the lights. Let's take a look over here. And God said, let there be TV. Oh my God. <laughs> it works. That's it. So it was the um, six diodes. If you like this video and it worked for you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you are, if you know anyone that has problems with their TV, go ahead and share it on Facebook or G Plus by clicking on the share button below. And if you want more videos coming at you like this, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Later, guys.